this video is all about sweating your assets. Now, you don't want an operator going on holiday and that spindle stops, do you? Absolutely not. And you don't want that operator to be sweating. You want the robot to be sweating. <laughs> and this is a perfect automated solution from Hydrofeed. Now, Hydrofeed have been bringing these to market for over seven years. So they've proven to work, but how do they work, Geo? Well, the simple answer to that, Lindsay, is it's loading billets into the machine tool. It's automating the machine tool. Okay, so you're trying to reduce the labor. So you actually, ultimately, you're putting more margin back into the products. And I'll explain more about that in just a moment. The billet gets put on here, how does it work? So this is a stacking system that we can see here. This is configurable to lots of different shapes and sizes. This particular one is for a rectangular shaped part. Then it gets loaded into the grippers such as this. Now, these grippers, <clears throat> it's like a four jaw truck, but only two of them grippers are actually working. And as you can see here, um, it opens and closes. Um, we've got um, two grippers here, this head, um, there's two grippers, so basically it, it can turn the part over. So as it's loading one, it can take the other part out. And we've got a turnover station right at, the, top at the back, which is also configurable to suit the parts that you're looking to load into the machine tool. If we look here on the screen, you can see the part and the grippers that's illustrated here. And this is a really easy way to program the automation and to configure the different Start the different configurations on your stacking uh, system. Now there's a huge variety in payload on this particular model as well. And I think I'm gonna call them pins for the sake of not knowing exactly what the technical term is, but determining the size and the payload of the part, then these pins can be moved around to work out, well, however long the batch you need, whether it's three off um, or up to three, 400 or so on. Absolutely, Lindsay. So it's a very flexible system, whether that be very high volume work or low volume but high mix. The payload, I believe, is 20 kilograms on this particular robo job, but that's not taking into consideration the weight of the grippers. And this is a six axis robot. Now, if you're thinking it's a great idea, but I, do I need to buy a new machine? Then you don't. These can be retrofitted. In fact, they sold three machines last week. One was on a DMG, one was on a Mazak, and one was on a Fanuc Robo Drill. all machines of different shapes and sizes. Now, if it is retrofitted onto a machine and say you don't have an automatic door opener and close, then they can fit their equipment onto this so it works at a push of a button. Your vices, whether they're pneumatic or hydraulic, again, Hydrofeed can supply all of that to you. Absolutely great point, Lindsay. A lot of the machines that are fitted with a robo job are legacy machines, but they also fit them to brand new machines too. Not only free axis machine tools, but fifth axis machine tools and lathes, even multitasking lathes. Okay, now nowadays they're finding difficulty in finding skilled people and keeping them. We're all talking about that all the time um, in the industry. So ultimately you want to kind of reduce that labor, keep it labor free as much as possible and get more margin out of the product. Now I was talking to the operator here what he does is one day of the week, it's just a bit of a manic setup day, he gets all the parts in there ready to go. But what he can then do is he can go and work on inspection, he can go and work on a VMC, he can be offline programming. As long as he's maintaining this machine with all the oils and everything like that, that machine can keep running and running and running, but also using his skills elsewhere, scheduling the next kind of batch that goes on here. Now that is utilizing your staff members more than ever by investing in a piece of equipment like this. And it's also creating a stable process. Now, looking at this particular application, it's a two operation application. So op one is being fed into the centric gripper that's mounted on the fifth axis unit. And op two is literally being flipped over onto the vice and, and machine in the back end off. Now this is a stable process and again, this is just one of many applications it lends itself to on a free axis machine tool. Adding to that, everybody here is factory trained and Hydrofeed themselves are investing in all of their support team members. So I think they have about seven or eight people in the UK looking after you. At the end of the day, these machines work, they're proving that they work and people are coming back for more and Hydrofeed want to support you. They want to support the fact that when you have their machine on your shop floor, you're cutting metal the day they leave.
maximising machine tool productivity, maximising the money that you can make and maximising unmanned running is the key.